Sunday was Pentecost Sunday. So we started a new series called Pour Your Spirit Out. And it's Wednesday, that means it's time for coffee and conversation. Thank you for joining us another Wednesday, another coffee and conversation video. Again, a time that we just spend to focus on some questions on Sunday's teaching. And right now, as I said, Pastor Connie started a new series called Pour Your Spirit Out, uh, which is perfect timing because Sunday was Pentecost Sunday, Sunday where we remember and celebrate God pouring out his spirit on his church. And so this is going to be good. It's going to be a two-week series. We'll spend this Wednesday and next Wednesday asking some questions, discussing some things in order to actually put that into practice in our everyday lives. Because we want to be living lives that are marked by the presence, the power of the Holy Spirit. So we have three questions for you this week. Uh, again, uh, you can grab your nice drink and your Bible and spend some time discussing these questions with your family, with your friends in a responsible way, or on your own as personal development. But here are this week's three questions. Question number one. Where do you seek comfort? Where do you seek comfort from? Uh, so this past Sunday, the message was all about how the Holy Spirit comes to bring us comfort, but also to help us be people who are comforting to others. So the first question is one that uh, Pastor Connie even asked in her message, and she talked about different things that we use to comfort ourselves. She asked the question, what's your favorite comfort food? And people in the chat on Sunday had all sorts of answers. My favorite answer was all the food. All the food is my comfort food. Because um, food is just so good. But where do you seek comfort from? Now there's, there's ways that we can do things that are, are caring for ourselves and comforting our, for ourselves in good ways. But there's other thing, things that we can be doing and we can be seeking out in order to numb ourselves and comfort ourselves in bad ways. But just take some time to reflect. Where do you seek comfort from? Is it from food or for TV or movies or maybe it's actually from other people and from being busy and, and getting things accomplished? Where do you seek comfort from? That's question number one. Question number two. When was a time you felt the Holy Spirit prompting you? Uh, we want to take you a moment to reflect and think back. When is a time where you just felt the Holy Spirit's prompting you just felt in your heart and your mind, oh, I need to think like I'm, I'm thinking of that person or maybe I need to pray for them or maybe I need to reach out and see how they're doing or, or bring them something uh, that they could be using, uh, maybe even make them a meal. Like, when was a time that you felt the Holy Spirit prompting you to act and to care for and comfort another person? Now, we ask that question, take time to reflect on it. If you can't think of a time, that's okay. We don't want to uh, shame you or anything like that. We, we just wanted to have this question is to think, you know, are we actually seeking after the Holy Spirit's prompting in our lives? Um, and we just want to encourage you to, to pursue after the Spirit's prompting and guiding in your life. That's question number two. Finally, question number three. How can you be a comfort to someone today? How can you actually go out and comfort someone today? Um, now again, there's restrictions. So there's all sorts of different things we have to consider in doing this. But is there someone in your life, in your family, your neighborhood, your workplace, uh, someone that you know of who could just use a little comfort today? Maybe a word of encouragement. Maybe you can reach out and ask, is there anything I can do to help you if they're, they're in a really trying, busy season? How can you actually be a comfort to somebody else today? We want these videos to be practical. You know, we hear this great teaching, we're inspired, but we, but we actually have to live it out. We actually have to change the way we're living and do something differently. So this is a great opportunity for us. How can we be people who are actually comforting others today and this week. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you back next Wednesday um, after Pastor Connie finishes her series, Pour Your Spirit, this Sunday. <laughs>